Hello, everyone. Uh, okay, so this is the, I think it's the fourth um, Daybreak update. Man, we've done a lot this year, but a lot is changing. So there is a need for these. Um, and because I just want to let you guys know what's happening and where things are heading. Um, first uh, item that I want to talk about is when we return. I probably have mentioned this in the past, but right now the plan date for return to uh, regular like weekly filming for Daybreak in terms of the 2021 season that is currently planned for July 4th. Now, there is an issue with this date. I'm doing it on July 4th for a reason. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you can go on to my, I think there's a feature where you can, there's like a, a it's like, a, it looks like a brochure symbol on, on your page. And on there is like Daybreak Fun Facts, like five Daybreak Fun Facts. And one of the things is there, there, there's a fun fact of why I'm doing it on the, whoops, oh my goodness, <laughs> on the 20, on the, on the 4th, because we did an episode, the season three um, premiere episode was on July 4th. And I think, hold on, let me check, because again, I should know this stuff, but I don't. Um, I'm not afraid to look at my notes. <laughs> uh season two was may 10th july 4th okay that's weird Anyways, maybe, I don't know. Um, <laughs> season four was, apparently was July 5th, but I wore an American flag pin. I think that I was, I was um, doing it for July, or maybe it wasn't July 4th. Maybe it was like President's Day or something. Or like, I don't know. But there was something to do with America, so I wore an American flag pin. Um, and the day I did that, that was the first time Daybreak went on YouTube. I was wearing a black suit, a yellow tie. And that would have been season four. But that was the first time we really changed things with Daybreak. Season four was a game changer of a season. Um, we had a bunch of new stuff. And this was the last season of the old first edition Daybreak. Then we did a month break and we went into season five, which was uh, eight episodes, I think it was. Um, but I'm, I'm commemorating that by putting this on a day that at least is near <laughs> the, the beginning of that because July 4th is a Sunday. Um, in 2021, which is awesome. So in terms of, so that's what that is. That's right there. That's the reason why we're doing it on July 4th. Um, the issue with that is, is that if people get their vaccines and are in states start opening back up in a lot of, and like in more ways than they are right now, they're going to want to go on vacation. And that is a problem with doing this during the summer is that you don't plan for that because I, I tried doing it during the school season. It just gets way too complicated. People are too busy and they're too, their schedules are too packed and they can't fit it in. Um, I said, I had a hard time finding guests and that's why we're doing it during the summer. Um, so we'll see what happens with this. There are some people who I know who aren't going on vacation immediately when summer starts, but um, I'm, trying to, I'm getting my lineup ready now so that when we get into the season, we are, set to go. We don't have any complications. Now, will that happen? Probably not. Knowing daybreak, there will probably be a number of complications, but the fun is in the journey. So we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, and it wouldn't be daybreak without some sort of problem. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's, that's what's happening with the beginning of daybreak. Now, in terms of filming daybreak, this is where everything is changing. Um, I think I mentioned this in the last uh, um, update video. We have a studio that's not at my house. Um, and we are currently, I have a couple episodes that are planned for that. I have one, two, three. I think it's just three as of now. And they're not consecutive. So in terms of, <clears throat> sorry. In terms of going to the studio, we have episode four, July 25th. We have episode seven, 
of August 15th. And then we have episode 9, August 19th. So they're all separated by a bit. Um, on August 1st, this is when we're planning, I'm planning to have Riley Kravinger do her episode. If you're not aware of what that is, uh, basically what's going to happen is, is that uh, in season three, four, I really should know this. I think it's season three. Season, nope, season four. <laughs> In season four, episode two, uh, we did a flipped interview with Riley Kravinger, and she interviewed me for the second half of that episode, and that went really, really well. Um, like, I interviewed her for the first 20 minutes, and then we flipped it, and she interviewed me for the, uh, the last 20 minutes, and then we ended the show. And that went really well. And um, we were going to do this, like, in November, but Daybreak was canceled for the rest of the year up until the summer, and so we moved it to i moved it to august 1st and i will not be involved in that episode pretty much whatsoever i'll edit it of course and i'll put it on the youtube channel but other than that i'm not in it at all so she's having her own guests and her own style of interviewing and her own this and that i will not appear on the episode at all i mean my name will probably be in the logo but yeah, it, there will be like with Riley Kravinger or that like something like that. It, it, it will be different and I will not be a part of it. So if you want to see someone else host Daybreak, August 1st. Um, but that's what's happening with Riley. I currently have like placeholder names and I think those two names will stick, but we'll see. I won't give them away just yet. Um, in terms of planning for uh, next season, we have one, two, three, four... Four. We have four slots. Um, one, two. Yeah, we have four. Oh my goodness. We have four slots left. So we've got the other uh, eight, uh, 16 films. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, 16. We've got 16 guests in. We've got four left to go. Um, and these are not confirmed guests, by the way. These are my own, like, what I want to have on Daybreak and put them in, putting them in places. I'm not taking this super seriously just yet. Like, I'm not asking people if they want to come on yet. I'm, like, saying, hey, would you like the idea of maybe coming on? I talked to um, Allison Topper yesterday about it, um, and a couple other people, like TJ Bonica has approved it. He'll be coming on. Uh, Faith Gagnon will be coming on. Um, but everyone else I still have to talk to because that is up in the air as of now. Um, but we will see what happens with that. But as I mentioned earlier, the one enormous difference with the way we are doing this season of Daybreak is the filming and the editing and the style and the mode of which we're doing this. So I mean, I'm going to try and break this down very simply because it's a little complex. So in the past five seasons, we have hosted Daybreak on Instagram. And at the beginning, when we were doing it on Instagram, it was working fine. You just you type the link into an IGTV downloader, and it downloaded it, and you put it in. I, I used iMovie, and then I uploaded it on YouTube, and that was it. Then I wanted to get a bit more complex, so I started. Add, I added a theme song. I I made it look a little better, um, but still not much editing. But that that's what you see in seasons like uh, three, four, and five, like all that stuff. Um, the unfortunate thing is that with the final episodes of Daybreak there, sorry, not the, uh, when we got into Daybreak stories, I think we got like three episodes in and then day, and then Instagram suddenly changed the IGTV format for some reason. Like when you try to copy and paste the link and download it, the sound was not um at the same time as like my mouth is moving it's like if i'm moving the sounds i'm making are coming in later or earlier than i want them to so i had to go and manually detach the audio try and fix it but the issue was with that it's not constant so i had to keep like cutting it and splicing it and it was so irritating to do and i couldn't i just i can't do that with a 45 minute long daybreak episode with all of this content in it it's too much to do to sync up both people's voices to like it's just it's too much now, i don't have the time <laughs> even during the summer um so we i started looking for new ways to do daybreak because i still wanted to do it so what we did was we transitioned to zoom and i'm using zoom to film this right now the zoom is amazing and if you've been watching the uh the 
test campaign videos, you'll see all the testing that we've done. And we recently just did a full operations test with Riley Krautfinger. We basically did a 40 minute long episode and we tried to do everything that we could to make it seem like a normal episode of Daybreak to see how everything would function. And it went really well. We got a lot of good data on it and we'll be doing another one in a couple of weeks. Um, and then another one after that while I'm actually in the Daybreak studio downstairs. Um, so yeah, in terms of the way that's going to work. So the show is no longer going to be at 10 a.m., which I am so happy for because I am sick and tired of waking up at like 8.30, putting on a suit, like taking a shower, putting on a suit, doing my, like, it was, it's just, it's too, <laughs> at that early in the morning, my brain's not functioning. So it's, it would be good to start at a later time, like 5 p.m., which is what we're doing. Um, so, sorry, I'm just moving this down. Um, SpaceX March again. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we'll be starting at 5 p.m. and it's still be a live show. So the way that's gonna work, we have a website. And we, I use Google Sites for it. It's really amazing. And if you haven't used Google Sites, highly recommend it. It's a great uh, source of things. Um, and you can get your own domain if you want to. Of course, it costs money, but you still can get it. So it's a great option. Um, and so there's a, uh, a thing on, a thing, a thing on uh, Google Sites where you can put a banner at the top of the page that says whatever you want. You can put a link there too. And so Right now, it said like daybreak, uh, like watch daybreak. And if you click it, it'll bring you to the videos and episodes page on the website. And you can watch the episodes of daybreak and like everything we've done. Um, when I am filming a live episode on Zoom, there'll be a link to the Zoom at uh, on the website. And that's how you'll get onto it. So it will be similar to the Instagram and we'll just click on the thing and you'll go right to it. Now, of course, we have to be careful here because this is an Instagram. Instagram, you can have two people on at one time and everyone else just watches. This, you can turn off your microphone, you can turn on your camera, like you can do everything. And so we need to make sure that the rules are very clear. You cannot turn on your camera. You cannot turn on your microphone. When you're, when you're using chat and you want to ask a question, you have to change the chat to send to Nicholas Sadowski. So I read it and no one else does. Um, there's like a lot of rules that will need to be implemented clearly, um, to the people watching. Now you may say to yourself, well, wait, this is at 5 PM. Is this then no longer daybreak? This is sort of your, you said you didn't want to do it at late at night. And this is sort of like midday, like what are you doing? Well, this will still be daybreak. And the way that this will be accomplished, if you watched the um if you if you were on your computer or phone or ipad at the time that i did this when i uploaded the video of riley and me doing that full operations test that was a youtube live it was a premiere and that's how that will just be daybreak i will film the episode the day before edit it put it all together get it ready for release to the public and then i will set a premiere time of 10 a.m on the next day. That could be Monday, that could be Sunday, that could be Tuesday. The, what, will the, what this will allow me to do is have a more lenient schedule with filming. So like if a guest says, hey, I can't do Sunday, but I can do Saturday. Before I said, no, I can't do Saturday because daybreak is on Sunday, that's when it's live. Now I can film this on like a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday, and I can still upload it at 10 a.m. the next day. Of course, I would really like to upload this at 10 a.m. on a Sunday, but my schedule is now more flexible as to when I can record previous to that. Um, and this only happens when we're doing it at, at the in-home studio here, or the Gagnon studio, as I call it. Um, when we are at the Bossy studio, that's not live at all. And that takes weeks, like a week or two weeks um, to edit together, make sure everything, because we're using multiple cameras, it's high in equipment. So it's not like a simple, I mean, on a computer and then just like put it into a software, click, uh, click, a, a, clip a, yeah, click a couple buttons and then just send it out. Like it's not gonna, like it's high end, thousands of dollars worth of equipment, like different scenes and shots and all that stuff that need to be put into one video that's coherent and makes sense and looks good. And that takes a week or two weeks to do, I've been told. So those will probably have to be filmed long before the day we release it. 
and they might those might not even be released on a Sunday in consecutive order. Like we may we may miss a week of daybreak because of those, which is fine because filming in a studio is an incredible privilege and a great experience. I think will benefit myself and also the people who are doing it with me. Um, now, if you're wondering, like, well, you have had guests from Dover Sherbert, and you're going to make them come all the way down to Norwell or Weymouth, where the studio is, and film? And like, no. The way this is working is I'm only having people come into the studio who live near here, or unless they're already coming down here for something else. For example, uh, Faith Gagnon already lives in Weymouth, and so I want to do a studio episode with her. I'm also doing the host interviews with her in a week, so watch out for that. But I've paired her with TJ Bonica. TJ Bonica lives in Westford. That's farther than Dover, so that's at the top of the state. But my plan was to have him come down here, do the episode, but then just spend the day with me because we haven't caught up in a lot of years. So like, it's like, I wouldn't bring someone down here saying, hey, come down here for 40 minutes, film an episode, then go back up to wherever you came from. And that's it, like, I wouldn't do that. So if you're wondering if that's the case, that's not the case. Um, yeah, so, that's how the whole daybreak will function. Um, if you're curious to know how we test daybreak, please go look at the uh, testing campaign, which is on the website, or AKA YouTube. Um, if you wanna look at previous daybreak episodes, please go look at the website, AKA YouTube. Um, if you want to get updates from me about daybreak, please follow me on Twitter. I think it's at Nicholas Sadowski, S-A-D-O-W-S. Okay, and I think they took out the I to put in like 14 or something. Hold on, let me check. I can check. I really don't, not, I don't prepare for these things. And so, cause I want them to seem natural, but then that ends up hurting me in the long run. Okay, let me see here. What, what's my account? Profile. Um, okay, at Nicholas, and I, capital N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S, and then capital S-A-D-O-W-S-4. So that's what it is. I'll put it on the screen so you can see it because I don't know if that made sense. But yeah, I get, I post all sorts of daybreak stuff on, I'm looking at it right now. I post all sorts of daybreak stuff on there, polls and like surveys. I put the website link up there. All videos go up on Twitter first. Um, I mean, they go on YouTube and then I put the links on Twitter. Um, if you look at the website, you may notice that I have taken off the Facebook account because I just don't use that anymore. Um, but I do use Twitter. Instagram is still up there. Of course, I have a private account now, but if you would like to follow me, I'll, I might accept you. Um, but Twitter is open to everyone, of course, and um, you can always look at the website and stuff like that. So yeah, okay, in terms of, so that's everything in terms of the upcoming stuff that I thought was um, important for this update. Now, in terms of upcoming stuff that's happening just for your own edification. Um, <laughs> so I'm looking at the website right now. We have, this doesn't do what I want to do, okay. In terms of the next episode of Daybreak, starring Nicholas Sadowski, that is July. That's planned for July fourth, twenty twenty one. The guests that I have planned for that episode are like planned. I don't really have a plan. I'm just like what I, what I like to have are Maeve Ross and Layla Kielhorn. They are both from Norwell. They're both uh, sophomores. By the time we do this in summer, they'll have graduated, so they'll be juniors as well as me. Um, with Maeve, I want to talk about school reflection and expectations for the 2021-2022 school year. And with Layla, um, sports um, compared to the beginning of the school year. I think she does sports, maybe not, but I just have like jotting down stuff. Um, so that's what's happening with that in terms of other daybreak stuff that has happened. The general information has been updated. Um, we're doing a 40-minute show now, in case you didn't know that, because Zoom has a 40-minute time limit if you want to keep it free, and I do. So we have 40 minutes now, 15-minute interviews, still a five-minute game. We have now five minutes to play with, unlike last time. Um, yep, so that's everything that's new with general information. In terms of new achievements, we recently surpassed 60 watch hours on YouTube, which is incredible. And we are above 1.6 thousand views on YouTube as well, which is insane um there are no real there uh, the episode and the dates for the episodes are up on the daybreak guest season three plus section if you want to look at the dates for the, where the episodes are and they also list the studio episodes if you want to look at that na is um not I, I think it's adapted or something not altered not altered and then sd stands for studio time um daybreak towns reached we are planning 
to go international this season um, to go to Ireland. So we'll see where that goes, but that is a plan we have in the works for Daybreak. Um, so we'll be going internationally, hopefully. Daybreak activities. If you want to play a, a Daybreak game at home, you can just go on the website. There's a, there's a drop menu called Daybreak activities with all the activities and the descriptions for them if you want to do that. There's a couple new ones that we haven't done on the show. For example, Make Me. Uh, before the interview starts, you dare me to do something for the entire conversation. I do the same for the guests. For example, if I dare you to pronounce all the H's in the words, you have to, like what or white, and you have to do that for the whole interview. Um, you can do that at home. You can do, uh, there's another one, objectively difficult. You pick, oh, you pick out objects and describe them. The person listening has to guess what it is. That came from an episode of Grace Marooney. Um, so thank her for that one. Um, and storyline. I describe the plot to a movie or a TV show that the guest knows well. Um, yes or no, plus or minus uh, one point. If they give any additional factual information about the movie that's not the storyline, they get an additional two points. But that only happens once. Um, okay, in terms of Daybreak stories, um, the next episode is um, episode 10, No Guests. And I want to do a joint one with Grace Marooney on that one since she jumped in on that episode, which she helped me with. If you want to watch that, that is... Uh, Daybreak um, episode, season five, episode four. That's what that episode is referring to. Um, other than that, there's no additional information with Daybreak Stories, although Daybreak Stories is also one of the things that will be impacted by the new studio. We'll do some episodes there. I want to do one with the studio owner. Um, but other than that, everything else is the same. Um, yep, for now. In terms of the host interviews, that is the most, that's the thing that's coming up really quickly. Um, March 28th, we are filming the host interviews episode two with Faith Gagnon in the studio in Weymouth. Um, that will be about 20 minutes long and they'll probably be released in like mid-April because again, it takes like one or two weeks to actually edit the thing. Um, so that's what's happening with that. But yeah, March 28th, we're going in, which is a Sunday. And Faith Gagnon will be interviewing me with six questions. And I tend to go into depth on these questions, which is why it's 20 minutes. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's what's happening with that. That's the only other host interviews that I have planned. There'll probably be more, but right now that there's only two episodes and that's the second. Daybreak studio time. That is what's happening with Faith Gagnon. Um, and the only other one I have in the studio plan for upcoming stuff is Daybreak stories. I changed the episode numbers. Um, episode... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the whoops right now. Um, episode 14. There's no release date for that right now since I haven't even done the previous five. So yeah, I might not do episode 15, which is called Zoom because I'm just describing everything I'm doing on Zoom, so I don't need to do that. But um, that's everything that's upcoming with Daybreak in terms of episodes. We are, though, um, fun thing approaching the one year anniversary of daybreak that will come on monday i guess not upcoming but on monday april 19th will be the full one year anniversary since daybreak's first episode all the way back in 2020 um and that, that'll be an interesting experience so yeah that's all of the updates and information that i have for you guys uh, thank you so much for watching daybreak um thank you for watching these updates um and it's really, it makes me happy to see all the hours washed because that means that you guys actually do care about the information that they're putting out there. Um, of course, the views do not matter to me um, as long as you guys are enjoying the content. So thank you very much for watching Daybreak. And I've been saying this a lot now since I will. Um, I will see you guys next time at Daybreak. All right. Until the next update video, there'll probably be like 10 this year. Um, we're already at four, so we'll see. And so it's only, was it March? So yeah, I'll see you guys next time on Daybreak. All right, bye everybody.